Hey everybody, welcome back to The Last Spell. I am Disturbing Puppet, and to be more accurate, it's the demo of The Last Spell, which is also called The Last Spell Prologue. So this is a demo of an early access game. So it's not only a demo, it's also early access. So even when it comes out, it's going to be early access. Lots of things probably can and will change. Um, in this demo, we're trying to survive five nights. The final version seems to be ten at least based on pips and stuff on the map. We're continuing from where we left off. Um, we're about to start day four, or night four. So, uh, good day, and welcome to day four. Uh, we've got three heroes. That's maximum. I can't do anything to add any more heroes, which kind of sucks. I think at this point I should be able to get another one, but I can't. And then we have attacks coming at us from two different directions. We can still build some defenses. Um, I've cleared out some of the junk in the town. So I'm thinking, uh, showing where the attacks are coming, I do have to fill in some gaps. Um, probably sections of these walls are damaged because we had attacks up north. I may want to put a watchtower in this corner and then see if I have good visibility, at least maybe half or a quarter on each side, and put my uh, ranged guy slash rifleman up there. Actually, what is this? Evasion? I didn't have that before. Okay, that's interesting. Anyone else have anything new? Nope, looks like it. Okay. You can get out of there. That's fine. Okay, so we have to build stuff. I do have uh, some... I've got health and mana a bunch on my mage. Got some health and mana on my fighter. Nothing on my ranged guy. Um, I am 100% convinced we're going to die tonight. I haven't made it past night four. Uh, there are enemies that show up in night four that reduce the actions your heroes have, which is pretty massively constraining. So let's see what I can do for defenses. How much is a watchtower? 40. Okay, if I put a watchtower in this corner... I'm hoping that I can see pretty well out of it. I'll probably have the mage go here and the fighter go over here. That's kind of my idea. And then the ranged guy will go in the tower, hopefully. Um, I can't repair that, but that's pretty trashed. So I've got a switch to repair. 8, sure, can do that. Can't repair that. Nothing over here looks damaged. Nothing's come over here yet. We still even have some little spike thingies out here. Little obstacles. Okay. Um, it'd be nice to have some better walls. At least around this thing. I'll probably leave one opening right there. It's 30 for stone. I don't think I can afford to have really much of any stone at all. Um, okay. So we'll leave that open. I can't really close off that much here, unfortunately. can put one of these here, so I guess I will, just to sort of do something to kind of block it. So that leaves an opening there. That's everything I've got. And that was even using somebody in my scavenger um, camp here to get additional materials for this night. Okay. Junko. We have to actually put you next to it and then tell you to get in it. All right. Hopefully you can see pretty well from up there. Let's see. So with the bow, pretty good. With the rifle, also pretty good. So I can cover through to that entrance. All right, yeah, that's not bad. I can kind of live with that. Okay. Mr. Mage. Go there. Fighter here. So we can kind of quickly look at all of our characters again. So basic stats and things, health, mana, action points. So she's got seven, which is pretty nice. Not a lot of movement. Um, we have a nine block, so reducing incoming damage. Some armor reduces incoming damage. Uh, dodge chance isn't terrible. Uh, we've got some health. 
for perks, we have uh, some extra armor for health regen, basically. Um, we have some extra movement, even though I'm wearing heavy armor, and if I kill someone with a melee weapon, we get some health back. Jonko, my ranged guy, we can swap back and forth between the rifle and the bow. Decent dodge, not so much armor, defense. Um, we have, every time we don't get a crit, we increase our crit chance. We have, if I don't move, I've got extra accuracy and range, which is nice because we'll just stay in the tower. And then if I get a crit, we regenerate some mana. With Rob here, we've got a pretty good chunk of mana going. Only six action points, like everybody else, kind of spacic. Pretty good dodge, 27% is not terrible. Um, he is a martial artist, so we can do pretty good damage with our punch, which is a free attack. Well, it's free in that we can do it as many times as we want. Um, we took the magic fuel to boost my magic damage a little bit. And then if I get a crit, we can regenerate some mana because that will just kind of help him continue to cast spells. I think I'm just going to need to burn through spells like crazy. So this one I hadn't seen before. That's plus 12% dodge. That's not terrible. Um, we've got a lightning strike, which can spread to other enemies. We've got a fireball hits a little bit. Weakening touch reduces resistance. So ideally you could maybe do weakening touch followed up by lightning. At range we've got the shadow bolt. With my warrior we have a bunch of different movement abilities with the sword and shield. But I think we do more with the spear. It's pretty comparable. Um, the spear does have some armor piercing. So here this attack is armor piercing. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, the big guys that I see that I think were the ones that reduced my actions are the ones I'm going to have to focus on. But I think that's all I can really do. Um, oh, I just noticed after zooming out, there's a giant hole down here. Uh, that's a big problem. So enemies may just come charging down there instead. Um, okay, you might have to fight your way down there. I could deploy her down there, but I'm going to try to just rush out and meet them headlong, I think. Okay, this could be bad. So what they'll do is they'll try to get through and attack the priests doing the spell, which I guess is draining all magic out of the world, or just ending the undead hordes, one of the two. Um, I don't really have much confidence. Let's give it a try. To the walls! Okay, early on, I'm not seeing any really nasty guys. We've got archers. That's a bit of an issue. All right. I think we can deal with this. So you, we've got a couple kind of basic shots we can do. So the difference here, this has a little bit higher maximum, but a lower minimum. With this basic one attack, we can get a higher minimum. So we're going to do more damage. Um, I can also shoot, hit a single target for a lot of extra damage. I can do that with the bow as well. Suppressive fire reduces movement of enemies, which is nice. Let's just take a few pot shots at what I can see. And if I don't kill them, I'm kind of okay with that. It'd be nice. But it's not the end of the world. This should kill whatever I shoot with it, I think. Yeah, let's eliminate Flyer. I can actually get a little further with the bow. My snipe shot ignores dodge does take some of my mana. I do have the Assassinate as well. So this ignores block, but it doesn't have quite as good of a range. So I was looking at maybe hitting the armored guy there, but I can't. Uh, what do I want to do here? So the snipe shot ignores dodge, so let's snipe shot this dodgy guy. Then I'm just going to blast somebody. Okay. Not a bad start. I do have to keep an eye on this though. All right, 
you can't really get to anybody. If enemies get inside the walls, they start to cause panic, which reduces the reward that I get. So kind of fighting outside of the walls is sort of rewarded. No matter what I do, I just don't have a lot of movement. I have some ways I can boost movement here, but it's not going to be enough. So I think I'm just going to come out and armor myself up. And I'm going to sit tight and kind of wait for them to come in, do some more damage, and then I'll just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. But I just can't reach anybody to do any attacks, really. If I could get to here, I could hit him. And I probably could. I could go here, and then I could use my dash to get there, and then I could use the spear to stab him. So that would be one action, and then that's two, that's three. Yeah, we could do that. So I'll switch to my spear. Okay, I wasn't sure if that would actually kill him or not, but it was enough damage. And I will hang out there. Okay. I can't do anything else defensively. There's limits on how many times I can use each of the abilities. Right. Okay, so I can only boost my dodge once. So I probably want to do that. Um, there is a big group. Do I just want to go ahead and start? And use a bunch of mana right away. I could fireball a couple times. Or we could Weakening Touch followed by Lightning. It's a lot of mana. I do have a couple mana potions, though. Uh, the archers are bad. All right, let's do it, just to see. So weakening all of their resistances. We go Lightning Strike in the center of the group. Still didn't kill all of them. Oh, he took a lot of damage there. He's pretty strong. Okay, and I could go ahead and attack him again and kill him. The archer is going to shoot at me. He can make it to the wall. He can't make it to me. Actually, he's a bit more dangerous. 80? He's out of range. I could move out. I'm going to try to kill him before he runs off. Okay. And then I'm just going to go back on the wall for now. Oh, it takes a movement point for that. Oh, that's great. I thought that was an action point. That's fantastic. All right, that's all I can do. It's a lot of bats. Okay, she took a hit, but I think she blocked all of it. Yeah, health's still full. Okay, haven't seen any of the really big nasty guys yet. A lot of archers, so I do want to take out the archers. The flyers are also a bit of a problem. So I could blade rush through here. Killing those two. I could just stand my ground and stab through them as well, which would probably kill them. Not many armored around. I want to save at least one to armor myself up. I'm gonna get right out here like a crazy person. Just not doing as much damage as I'd hoped. Okay, I'll do that. I could.
could go through somebody, but then I'm kind of exposing myself. I don't want to get too far away from the opening. They will kind of ignore me and go right for the openings if they have a chance. All right. Archers are probably my main targets. And with my big gun, I can hit at least one. So let's take you out. A lot of flyers. Could do a suppressive fire and hit quite a few here, just to slow them down. Yeah, let's do that. That's not too bad. Basically, it means our movement will be massively reduced. Okay, then I'm going to pick off one of you. Take him out. I'll probably start using my, uh, on this side, I've got an Arctic Blast that hits an area and stuns enemies, so I might start whipping that out once they get kind of closer to this opening. I'll just lock this area down with those if I need to. So that's thinned out. You are going to get some attention on you, though. Right. Rub, what can we do? Okay, Buncher slowed. I'm just going to come out and punch you in the face. The armored guys are trouble. So are the archers. Okay. You're at full health, though. This archer's slowed, but he's just going to stand and shoot, probably. I don't think he's actually going to move up. Fireball won't do much. I really need some armor penetration or something with him. I don't have a lot that's going to help me for armored up units. I'm going to throw a fireball back there. Just to get the archers whittled down so maybe I can finish them off next time. And just keep improving my dodge. So with that... So that gets me to 39% dodge, which is not terrible. I've got some healing. I've got more mana we can get access to. It's action points that are a problem. So if those enemies show up that start sucking away my action points, then we have to target them. Okay, a little bit of damage to my warrior, it looks like. They're kind of destroying some of this stuff, so it's distracting them. Okay, you guys are a problem. Can you actually see them? Yeah, I can. But they're pretty tough. Okay, if I do that, and then kill you as well, all right. So I can drop a big frost kind of into these front guys here, or I can do it there. Let's go there. Yeah, only stunned one, unfortunately. Can I kill you? No. And no. Good snipe shot, though. I'm gonna try to help here. Let's see if I can 
getting enough to kill him. No. Close, though. We can just go up and punch him, maybe, finish him off. Okay, that's about all you can help out with. Prisha, yeah, you just took two points of damage. You're fine. So if I move... Let's just do that. I'm killing in the rain. Just killing in the rain. Um, I could do this. I'm not getting a lot of mana back. I'm not getting a lot of crits. Got to move closer. I could do that. It kind of puts me out of position, though. Kind of burning through my mana a little quickly. If I get crits, I'll get my mana back at least a point. I can also drink my mana potion. Yeah, I mean, this, I can target each of them. It might kill him. I'm going to do it. Hit you and... Ah! That's the uh, problem with trying to click quickly is that you can often click the wrong space and just whiff on your attack. So I ended up kind of uh, missing that. Hopefully, you can kind of draw back. They're kind of heading over this way, which I'm not a fan of, them linking up. But we're keeping them away from this opening, which is fine. If they move down, then she can kind of deal with it, I think. Okay. Flyers are an issue. We have giant swarms coming. Maybe time for another lightning bolt. So if I go... Weakening touch... I really didn't hit that many, unfortunately. Lightning into the middle. Okay, got a few, but not enough. I'm going to punch you to death. Okay, I can do some more damage to those further away, but I'm going to try to hit somebody close to me. I can't kill either one, though. And save enough for the evasion. And that is it. We have a lot coming that I'm not able to really deal with here yet. Ooh, a lot of hits coming in on my mage there. Oh, they just busted a hole there. That's really not good. I think that's where that old stone was that broke. Yeah, that's a problem. What is this? Clar? Yeah, I haven't seen any of the guys that I saw before on night four, so maybe there's some difference in the units that you'll see. Got an opening there. He can just head right on in, so that's not great either. It's a lot of weak units here, but I've got to finish them off. Yeah, I've got to take them out. Okay. I'm just going to kind of pull back and try to defend the walls here. My outfit's full of guts now. Gross. Yeah, she's totally fine. Um... 
Unfortunately, they can come right through here. I can try to sort of block it. I can get in the way, but then I can't actually defend myself. But no, that's actually going to go too far, isn't it? That's past where I want to go. All right, I'm just going to armor myself up here. Junko. Junko's mainly kind of single target killing. He's not great at doing a lot of damage to enemies. I can slow down some people, but that's about it. Um, I could suppression, suppressive shot like here and stop a bunch of these flyers from getting anywhere but then we're sort of leaving rob here really exposed and i could slow down a lot of them over here yeah i think he's in trouble but i've got to try to stop these flyers from getting in with this opening right there. They're not affected. Okay, they're all slowed down. Uh, let's throw an Arctic Blast over here somewhere to try to help out. Stop them from coming near me. Trying to kind of kill some of them off. And with one, I can't do anything with the rifle. I could still snipe shot somebody. Maybe an archer. Or a flyer. I should be able to kill him. This guy over here is already wounded, so I could definitely kill him. I think. thought it was his health there. This health, I sometimes get confused if it's below them or above them. Uh, do I go for that? Or do we help over here? I think we got to help over on this side. It's getting too out of control. Come on, give me a kill. Yeah. Damn, you were an ugly little fellow. Okay. Could have been better. Slowed them down. There's a couple stunned in the middle, but it's not really enough to help a ton. There are some flyers sneaking around. They're heading towards an opening, which is not good. There's openings here. There's just way too many openings on this side. And Rob also got kind of munched on a bit. Come on. There we go. Okay. His main defense is dodging, and if I can't dodge, you're kind of screwed. So, let's see. So, stuff doesn't really tra travel diagonally, so I'm going to try to just save it and throw the lightning in here. Okay. I was hoping we'd do more to these armored guys. From here, I can't see them, but if I step out, I should be able to. There's just way too many coming in here. I could fireball the three of them, but it's not going to be enough to kill them. I can probably kill these two with a fireball. But I'm a little bit worried about these runners, crawler and runner, out here on the edge. I 
really don't have any good options. No, I can't see you. Fine. And that just doesn't leave me much. So I can hit you. That's not going to kill you, though. Uh, I can punch you. That might kill you. Yeah, that should kill you. Yeah, they're just going to come charging in the city. So are these. Oh, actually, that's blocked off. There's a little crappy thing there. I thought that was an opening. Okay. So they must be just attacking the corner. All right, so we're not in as bad a shape as I thought. Um, okay, move back. Bonus dodge. Stay there. Hope for the best. Okay, Rob took a little bit of a bang. We've got a bit more of an opening here now. That's now open to... Defenses are falling. And I only slowed them down temporarily. Okay. How far? Blade Rush goes through three, and then I need an empty space. There's four there, though. Okay, there's a few taken care of. You can hit a couple targets with the skewer, the swipe. Uh, if I reposition, uh, that is going to hit the wall, though, I think. But I kind of feel like I have to do it. Yay, I just blew up the wall. Great. Fantastic. One shot just destroyed the wall, but I did take out a bunch of them there. Okay, um, I probably should just double. Just hit in here. Hope for some stuns. Hit here and hope for some stuns. Got a few. Okay, I can do a couple basic rifle shots, or I could do one big shot. Uh, I could go for an archer, potentially, or I could pick off somebody over here. And my snipe's only one action, too. Um, what is that? 135... Just looking, I see like a lot of health there. Just the crawlers have a lot. Okay, snipe shot. I don't want to mess up potential lightning connections. Go for this guy inside the wall.
with a little bit more range. I could finish him off with the long shot, I think. Oh, we dodged it. You suck. Okay. Well, um, yeah, not good. Yes, so fury. Okay. Saving the movement for my evasion. I have enough to throw a lightning out there, but that's about it. Yeah, these guys are a bit... The health bar seems way bigger than it should. So I can throw a lightning in. It'll probably spread around to the evasion. That's probably my only real good call. Some of these guys are stunned, though, so it's not a huge deal to target them. Uh, these... Two are not stunned. You're adjacent. Yeah, I could kind of throw lightning into this group, or I could kind of throw lightning into this front three, which might then spread back and over. Um, stun, 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 stunned, stunned. Okay, I'm going to do it here. Oh, I don't have line of sight there. Great. That's helpful, and I can't move if I want to use evasion. All right, where can I see? Um, I can hit here and hope it spreads. Okay, it actually went kind of the right direction. Yeah, not terrible, because a lot of these front ones are stunned. All right, get evasion. Flyers are going around, but I'm not sure where they're headed. Oh, you're all the way down there. That's not good. You're going to come running right through, probably towards the spell. I didn't even notice him. I should probably zoom out more and check. They do like to kind of lap around the edges. Okay, that was everything, right? Yep. few dodges with Rob. Yeah, we've got quite a few inside, and that's definitely a problem. Okay. Oh, you're out of mana. All right, let's drink some mana. can't get through. So let's do a little stabbing. A little bit more stabbing. I don't know if I should head in or if I should just stay on the walls here and deal with this group. There's way too many getting through up here. Good. Yeah, I'm not going to have a lot of defenses then. I could come out here and try to use my skewer and hit the dodgy guy and the range target. I can come down here, slash past this guy. See if I can kill him. So I could kind of get in the way of this opening. That would be the other option, but then I'm sort of leaving these open, and he kind of needs to help out here. So I'm going to go out in the middle. How far does that go? No, that is pretty good. 
That'll definitely kill him. So this may not. That's 88 to 109. Yeah. Take you out. All right. I don't think it matters, but I'll switch back to the shield. Um, I don't think it actually affects my block. So if they get in, I'm going to have to kind of try to chase them down, down here. This is a mess because of these buildings block line of sight. Okay. If I just go for mass damage and stunning. A few stuns, not that many. Um, maybe we try to just pick off what we can. If I get lucky, this will kill you. One health left. Awesome. Super helpful. Okay, I'll take a couple rifle shots. Not even getting kills. Okay, how about a snipe? Then finish you off. Alright, that's still three inside, and I'm not going to get good vision on them, probably. Um, I can see two of them. He's pretty tough. I hate doing this. It's just taking forever to actually get any damage through. Oh, dodge. That's horrible. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to see this guy. If I move up, I don't know if that's going to give me vision. I don't see him from here. Yeah, I can't see him. And even if I move, I don't think I'm going to have any vision. Um, okay. You're stunned. You're not. Let's just go for the non-stunned target. Just to slow them down coming through here. You're going to have to kind of peel off and deal with that, I think. Get an evasion. Okay, not fantastic, but it's actually going way better than Night 4 did before when I played this. Okay, the main area took some damage. Got that one runner down there. There's another one coming. This is going to turn into a mess real soon if we can't do something about this. Okay. I didn't even kill you. Jeez. far. Yeah, that wouldn't work because there's two of them.
Oh, you didn't even die, you suck. Yeah, running out of mana, I'm not getting enough crits. I can hop over. Maybe I'll do that, actually. I'll head towards this guy. Try to help out inside. Okay. Unfortunately, you've got people right in front of you. I can actually punch him, if nothing else. Uh, what's your health? 105. That's going to take at least two punches, probably three. I'm too close for... My rifle, I'm sure you're too close for this, yeah. Irritate, irritate. Okay. You're right on a building, that's not good. Just hoping that would give me a kill. And if I drop a couple Arctic Blasts here, hopefully we can stun the front. Hit them, we can hit. Okay, so just stunned a whole bunch of the front. There's still more coming though. And I couldn't do anything about the guys attacking my little tower that I'm in. Alright, um, you are a huge problem, but I should be able to see you. Now I've got to move around. Okay, let's move. Let's nuke you. Okay, good. That was a one-shot hit. That's fantastic. And I can still see into those guys. The flyers are in. I'm not sure where they came in from. Stunned guys I can kind of ignore. You are not stunned, though. Okay. The flyers. I've got to do, like, almost max damage to kill them. With single attacks, and I've only got one more single attack. I could fireball and hit both, I think. No, angle's wrong. So I can lightning into the group. Or I can just try to pick off at least one of those flyers. See if I can get lucky. Yeah, not surprising. Okay. So this clump is actually separate. They're all stunned. I could throw lightning into here, which might spread to all of these guys. I could drop a fireball back here. I might kill those two and take out the archer. Archers are just generally irritating. Yeah, I wouldn't take out the archer. I could fireball the back here, do a little bit of damage. I can only light or fireball once. So I might as well lightning, actually. Okay, thin them out a little bit. Division. Okay, Rob, you're doing pretty good. Your mana's not too bad. front are pretty much all stunned. These guys, I'm not sure what they're going to do. They might just eat the wall. The flyers may come tearing down, but I'm not sure. Here, I'm sort of blocking this path to get to them. I don't know if they can attack from here, though. So I could block this direction. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, the city's totally panicked, freaking out. Way too many zombies in the city. No, oh, we lost our tower. Help! 
Coming! Okay, if I switch to the spear, I don't have to move as far, and I can still hit you. Then I can come out, go through you. And I'm kind of stuck. Can hit them. But that's it. Okay, armor up. He can't attack things close up unless he punches them. Uh, and we have the same problem of just hordes and hordes of monsters coming in the city from the north. So I've got them off the center. But they're going to destroy my chapel here and then my shop, which is going to be really bad, awfully quick. Okay, I can see one of them. Okay, I got to throw a lightning in here and hope for the best. Thinning them out. I've got a lot of them hurt, just not finishing them off. This is a ruin, so I don't care as much about it if he wants to eat that one. But he might just fly past and go right to the center. To kill him, I've got to come out here and punch him. I could punch him twice and kill him, but then we're leaving all of these other ones for him to deal with. But there isn't a lot left I can do. Uh, I could fireball once, and that's really about it. Or I can go for some single targets like the archers who are causing problems. Okay, I'm going to see if I can kill the archer... Alright. Then should I hit the other archer? Yeah. Go evade. And I could block this route so he can't come through here. Uh, he might just attack the building, but that's kind of okay. I could try to block him here from getting through. He'll probably come through that way. Yeah, let's block this. Okay, Junko, what can you do for me? I could slow some movement down, but at this point, it's not going to help me much. We could do some mass damage again with the Arctic Blast. So there's three there. There's four there I could target. Probably kill these four. Okay, didn't kill one, but stunned them. Hoping that would give me a kill. So I'm going to attract some attention. Uh, what's my dodge? 12? Yeah, not great. I mostly relied on being in towers to keep him safe. There's a lot of weak enemies out here. I just can't do anything that hits an area that well. So I could probably take the two out. It's kind of a waste, though, it feels like. Snipe shot. So 
So a lot of weak ones. So I could just take a couple basic shots here. close stuff I can't see. I could move around. It's probably not a bad idea. Get out of that position. That one's stunned. I can kind of ignore him. I could pick off some of these guys down here. Or at least one. Or go for an enemy that's closer. I've got to go for a kill on something. And I'm a little concerned about these guys getting into the city. Okay, uh, we're kind of getting through it, but I can't see how much health we have left here, can I? Okay, 48, so we've taken about half the damage we can here. Okay, unfortunately we lost our temple. Now our scavenger area is being attacked. Just gonna go Fists of Fury here. I think I'm going to survive this night, which is kind of surprising. We're taking a lot of damage and the walls are trashed, but we're going to survive, I think. Okay, let's just kill you. Clear some around him. He can use his rifle on these more armored guys. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, in the city. I can't believe you didn't die. I could do this all night long. Okay, this uh, would destroy that ruin. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it does mean less things that I can salvage for money in the city. But it might get destroyed anyway. Um, I could do the skewer and hit two targets. As long as I don't screw up my clicks. And neither one died. Okay, that's wonderful. Do that. And kill you. Okay, the archer will probably kill shooting the walls. You keep her busy. Junko! Let's kill an archer. by himself, so assassinate him. Uh, everybody 
things too close for that. Okay, I wasn't sure I would actually get the kill there. Alright, snipe shot. Who can I hit? Those guys out there. Oh, the archer. Let's go for the archer. Surprised I can see him out there, but I guess there's a giant hole in the wall. And I'll come down. Try to protect the shop if I can. I mean, we're going to survive the night, but we're kind of screwed. This is down to half health. The walls are destroyed. I don't really have a lot of resources to rebuild stuff. Well, for this run, things are kind of going better than last time, but I didn't see the enemies this time that I saw last time on the fourth night. But we're going to end up in a really bad position. I kind of felt like these heroes were a bit weaker, but they're doing a decent job. Um, the spear is kind of nice. So there's that as well. Oh yeah. Okay. That's my range. Let's move in a bit. Yeah, that's it for ranged attacks. Just have my weakening touch left and that's it. So I'll just do that and move in. Prasha. Kill for me. Okay. Now, I've got some armor piercing attacks with my spear. Well, you're both already in range, so let's do that. That's it. Night four survived. Somehow. And everybody leveled up. Okay. Um, we lost about 100 HP, which was okay. The city completely freaked out, so we got almost nothing for gold and materials. So it's gonna hey, uh, it's gonna be really tough to do anything, have any kind of defenses for the last night. See, we barely made it. That is true. We did barely make it. Oh, uh, okay. Let's level up. Prisha apparently first. Um, crit going up would be nice. Health going up would be nice. So that would go up 7%. So crit would be about 15. I'm going to take the health, actually. And we've got tier 3 perks. Uh, not implemented. Okay, so nothing I can do. Um, okay. So increase crit when attacking enemies at full health. Uh, crit hit, giving mana, maybe uh, some extra movement. That's probably what I would go for. The crit stacking until we get a crit is also pretty nice. Armor breaker. We're going to run into a lot more armored units and stuff as we go in here. So yeah, let's take armor breaker. Junko! Range damage increase. Pretty decent mana improvement. Um, let's take the range damage increase. 
And what else? Armor shredding, of course, is tempting. Increasing my stun chance, because I do have stun attacks. Yeah, let's do that. Plus 15% stun. So that'll improve the effectiveness of my uh, Arctic Blast. I don't know if it tells me what the percentage is. Chance to apply stun doesn't actually tell me. Okay, there. It looks like 85% now. So it was 70%? That seems higher than... Based on, it didn't seem like it was affecting that many. Maybe it, they've got resistances too, probably. Okay, uh, nothing really cool. Uh, I can get my dodge up by 5%. That's tempting. A little bit of extra mana, also not bad. Those are really the best things for him. Um, I would probably take health if I could get it, because he's awfully weak. So more mana or more dodge. I think I'll go more dodge, because he's also got that ability to boost his dodge. So with that, I think it's like 14%, so he could get up to almost 50% dodge chance, which is pretty nice. Um, I do quite a bit of punching with him, so I could go with Vampire to try to get some health back, but I only really work with the punches. Is there anything else for magic? I mean, if I don't move, we've got extra accuracy and range. Armor shredding, I don't do any poison. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Vampire, because I am doing quite a bit of punching. I'll just have to live with it. Okay, the shop did survive, but just barely. Um, scavenger Camp got me some stuff. So 20 materials, just kind of passively. I have six workers, so I can assign a worker to the scavenger camp. I will definitely do that. I can repair it. I really don't have much cash, though. So one worker there. I don't have anything else I can do. My place where I could do some healing was destroyed, so I can't heal anybody now or get any extra healing. Unless I built it again first. Um, yeah, this place is trashed. Could go for a mana well. Uh, it takes everything I've got to build a temple, then I could heal one person. Or I could just buy some potions. But there's usually only two health potions per day. Yeah, I'm not sure which is better. I could also upgrade this place, and I could maybe add another worker. Upgrade scavenge material. And that just gives us material straight up. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So that should give me some extra material from this worker we have here. So for the night, we'll have a bit more materials, so we can try to rebuild some of the wall. They might be coming in the same spots, they might be coming in different places. Um, yeah, I've got to just go with potions. Now, it's only one health potion. I've got to take it. Mana potions, I don't know that I need. This is a trinket, so that's kind of free. Everyone's got a spot for that. Extra health, critical... 15, 6, 8. This one's better. 5 gold, it's a decent improvement. Some crummy weapons. I've got almost no money left. Do I want another mana potion? I kind of need one for my warrior, potentially. But I could just move them around. I think I still have two on Rob. So, yeah, let's get the upgraded Baron Gate. It's just one more night we've got to make it through. OK, 
Okay, you've got two. I don't know that you need to. Okay, you've actually got a health potion. You're fine at full health. You hurt, let's give you a health potion. I'm gonna take one of your mana potions. The only person who ran out of mana was Prisha, so I'm gonna give her the mana potion. Okay, health, physical damage. I mean, I have to do a lot of physical damage, but the health I kind of need mostly on him. Um, it would help me with my vampire ability and my punching, potentially. It makes the most sense to put it on Prisha. Because it kind of fits in with what she does. You've already got... Want some extra dodge. Oh, that's why you have it's the swift boots giving you that. Yeah, it's weird, but I kind of wanted to give it to Rob just because it is going to give him some extra health. He really needs the health. Um, and then the extra damage might help him kill some stuff with punching, possibly. But that's really about it. Did I give you the perk? Yeah, and he also gets mana back on crits. So, yeah, let's do that, as goofy as it is. So it doesn't increase his current health, it looks like. All right, you've got a mana potion... You've got one of each. You've got a health potion. You were doing okay getting mana back. Okay, um, so I've got five workers left. Let's clear this for gold. It's almost destroyed anyway. And then for one, all I can really do is one of the one-tile wells, and that's about it. So let's clear that, but let's go for materials, I guess. Okay, now what can I buy? Anything? Anything useful? Novice Druid Staff, close range, not much damage. Rusty Dagger is not great. I could... Well, I've got two ranged weapons on my range guy. I don't really want to give him something else. Uh, I think this is more than my punches. It actually has armor piercing, too. That's pretty decent. Heavy armor! Okay, it's a bit more armor, a bit more block. Same dodge and move point reduction. Gives me some health. Losing an action point. The action point's worth just a, a massive amount. Um, I don't have helmets on everybody. Jonko doesn't have a helmet. Rob does. What is this thing? Plus three armor, minus two mana. Eh, it's not that great. Um, Prisha, what do you have for a helmet? 10 resistance, 2 mana. Yeah, you're always burning out your mana. Those are decent pants. It does make me slower, but those are decent pants. Steel pauldrons. Increases crit. Huh. Okay. Uh, we could go ahead and get the Baron Cape, too, uh, and give that to somebody. Yeah, why not? Um, I think I'm going to take these Paladin Greaves. 
Jonko's wearing pants. Rob, fur pants. Five armor plus three dodge. That is decent. Prisha. Yeah. does make her slower, which does kind of suck. Uh, the mana potions, I could maybe use one more, possibly, but it's not like a huge deal. Looking for any like really cool abilities. The bonus block here is pretty nice. Spear does more damage, but loses some crit. Uh, how does that compare? Rob? Okay, same thing. Yeah, I keep coming back to the Paladin Greaves. Uh, I hate losing some movement with Prisha. Because she's awfully slow already. I do really enjoy all of this, um, all of this kind of detailed extent of all the different gear and stuff. It really makes it a lot more interesting and kind of sucks you in a bit more. It kind of makes it like you're, you're min-maxing everything trying to get things to work so that you can actually survive, which is really cool. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's this or some health potions, which aren't really going to do much. Um, potion of speed, plus three move. That's probably just for one turn, though. Well, it's got three uses. So I could potentially take that and just boost my speed with her a bunch. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Rain of Arrows scroll. It does cost actions and mana to use. If it was free, that would be great, but costing the actions and the mana anyway doesn't really help me too much. Uh, let me look at my gear real quick here. Okay, so you will get the Baron Cape. You will also get the Potion of Speed, which means... I kind of lose something. Um, you did fine on health, and I've also got Vampire, so I should be okay... Let's swap this out for the Potion of Speed, so I can use that three times to get some extra movement, as long as I remember I've got it. That's the problem. And then, yeah, Rob, I have a Health Potion. I don't know why you don't have a Health Potion already. We're a little bit banged up getting into this. All right, that's about all I can really do at this point. Um, so we are going into this a little bit hurt. I could go ahead and use some health potions now, but I think we'll hold off. Okay, so they're going to come from the top and the side. This side's mostly good. So I just have to repair the top defenses and maybe put something there. But that'll be it for next time. So this is it for day four. We're on to day five, which is the last one. The uh, group of wizards at the center of the spell are already down to two guys, like half health. So hopefully things will go well in the last part, but I sincerely doubt it. Uh, so come back next time. We'll try to do night five. So this has been more of the last spell. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good one.